Hello everyone. This is Dr. Thalari and in this slide I'm going to talk about uh, breast cancer screening. Everything is taken from John Murtha 4th edition. So you can always refer John Murtha if you have um, any doubts. So breast cancer screening is very very important um, in regular general practice because um, this is one thing where the general practitioner is uh, liable for um, uh, suing by the patient if you miss uh, a breast cancer <clears throat> or uh, if you don't screen the patient properly okay so now so how often you screen the women uh, for breast cancer so you do it every two years in women is 50 to 70 years and if there is a palpable lump that's the only screening what i said if there is a palpable lump and if the woman is less than 35 years, you do an ultrasound because a mammogram will not pick up on dense breasts. And if the patient is uh, aged more than 35 years, you do ultrasound plus mammogram. And if you think it's a cystic lump, which is soft and uh, fluidy consistency, you aspirate the lump. If it's a solid lump, you do fine needle aspiration and cytology. <clears throat> so this is an overview. So what are the risk factors of breast cancer? Uh, there is a big list of uh, risk factors. In my next slide, I've uh, <clears throat> uh, um, done a you know, mnemonic or tip how to remember all these things. I think uh, that will be very helpful because uh, it's very important that you don't forget uh, any risk factor if it's a breast cancer. So what are the risk factors? Age more than 40 years and uh, if the patient is a female of course males also get breast cancers um, caucasian pre-existing benign lumps is a risk factor alcohol is a risk factor hormone replacement therapy more than five years is a risk factor personal history of breast cancer family history of breast cancer nulliparity is a risk factor late menopause is a risk factor obesity is a risk factor and early menarche is a risk factor and again, all these are from John Murtha. Kindly read John Murtha if you have any doubts. So to remember all these things, it was very difficult. So I had a way of how to remember these things, uh, which is <clears throat> um, I had a story of how to remember. So I've remembered like this, an old Caucasian female. So all three are risk factors, old age, Caucasian, female, had no kids, which is nulliparity although she had early menarche so she got periods early which is a risk factor so therefore she got frustrated and started to drink alcohol as a result of this she got late menopause and doctors started hormone replacement therapy which is all risk factors i've highlighted the her risk factors um, then she died prematurely because of strong family history and personal history of breast cancer so you don't miss any risk factor and uh, sometimes uh, <clears throat> the examiners might ask you, tell me the risk factors for breast cancer or something like that. So it's always good if you know uh, all the risk factors. Another thing is uh, while you're explaining the diagnosis to the patient, like uh, for example, in my case, when I explain the uh, risk factors or when I explain that uh, she can have breast cancer in my general practice, I usually try to you know, use all the risk factors and say that she is at a very high risk compared to someone of her age. So that's how you compare risk or you assess risk. So I will say you are more than 40, you are Caucasian, you are a female, and um, whether she had kids or not, and whether she drinks alcohol, whether she had late menopause, whether she is on hormone replacement therapy, family history of uh, you know breast cancer, and personal history of you know benign breast disease or uh, past history of breast cancers, things like that. So use all these things so that you can explain uh, clearly to the patient. I think this will be very helpful, and uh, I'll talk to you in my next video. Thank you very much.